Oh, uh, oh, has that thing got a video on it too? Yeah. Very nice. Um, uh, I'm, I'm Tommy Lynch. Do I talk to the camera? Yeah, if you want. Okay, fantastic. I'm uh, a full-time fishing guide here in uh, Northwest Michigan, um, primarily here on the Pier Marquette, and uh, especially here in the flies only water. Good beetle. See him? There's a few people up there. There's where my puppy's buried, see that? Look at that, what that says right there. It says, Tommy's dog, Chinook. He had a bum leg and uh, he got cancer and bad scene, but. That's a good bug. So um, yeah, we're gonna go down here and we're looking for brown trout. We do catch a few rainbows here in the Pier Marquette. Ooh, this'll work. Pretty vacant really. Find a big old stone here in a second. Oh here you go. These are stonefly nymphs. Basically big max floating down the river right there. How you doing sir? How you doing? How's the fishing out there today? Has it been slow? A lot of canoers? Huh? A lot of canoers? Not, not too bad. I just, uh, you try any hoppers? Huh? Yeah that's where we started out using hoppers. And there's the whirlpool. This is usually good for a couple of fish, no matter what. Even if boats are going right over the top of it like they are right now. Come on, we gotta wait for the folks to get out of the pool. See this like little eddy back in here? Yeah. If, you came, if you came back in here in the middle of the night and you clicked your light on, there'd be like three browns in the probably high teen to you know, even low 20 class just milling around back in this wood. Right now I can see almost nothing because it's daylight and it really does make a difference. So yeah, let's go get a trout out of that whirlpool and get on out of here. There's a spot up there that basically is like a washing machine full of nymphs, all those stone flies, extra, uh, even smaller bugs like the caddises and, mm. and, uh, and that. So. And what I'm doing is taking the most simple of bugs, the, uh, the aquatic versions, the, uh, the nymphs, and I'm fishing them very deep to fish that are probably put down by the boat traffic in that. And I'm trying to tempt them at their kind of uh, snack level instead of their full meal level. And boat traffic, uh, you know, it kind of works for you and against you because it makes all the fish want to fish, or feed rather, a little bit after. Ooh. Fish on. Fish on. Again, knowing where you're fishing, we're really kind of, whoa. Hello, hello. Good trout here, folks. Hello, hello. Not a bad way to start up here. We got a nice bend in our six weight. Ha ha ha, what'd I tell you? The old whirlpool, huh? When in doubt, nymph them, baby. Wow, that fish is getting some line from me. You don't, oh, you're gonna get it though. Oh, goodness. We're fishing a 5X lower tippet, which is uh, basically hair. And uh, this fish is really just working me over like a champ, folks. This is fantastic. Oh, goodness me, how about that for a trout? Well, I suppose if you're gonna catch a trout on a, oh, Look at that, folks. Hello. Wow. Well, I could tell you that this happens all the time, but I'd be lying. This is a fairly large trout for the nymph rig. Here, hold on. Let me trip through the line here and lose them really well. Folks, we're talking about a two-foot rainbow trout here, I think. Give me just a second to verify. That's a good thing I got 25 feet of line out, eh? Folks, when you go nymphing in the middle of the daytime, you're kind of thinking, hey, maybe I can go out and catch a couple of nice teeners. You never really say, hey, I'm gonna go out and catch a gigantic trout. Oh, goodness me, is that a brown? Holy toot, that's a brown trout. Scratch the rainbow theory, folks. That is a good brown trout. 
Holy smackaroonies. Alex, I gotta tell you, you know, uh, you can come fishing with me anytime you want as far as I'm concerned. And folks, again, when, you, when you're gonna go fishing and catch a, just a big old trout, Pure Marquette River. You have to be cool, you gotta bring him back nicely. I mean, as you can see, he's doing just fine. Thank you. We'll see you at uh, the midnight hour there, Mr. Fish. That's a good fish for a mouse, so.